The Chandrayaan-3 mission by the Indian Space Research Organization ISRO, has caught the attention of space enthusiasts around the world. One question that arises is why the mission takes over 40 days to reach the moon, while previous missions, such as NASA Apollo 11, accomplished the journey in just four days. The answer lies in the trajectory chosen by ISRO and the limitations of the launch vehicle. This article aims to explain the trajectory of Chandrayaan-3 and shed light on the reasons behind the extended journey. The Apollo missions, including Apollo 11, utilized a direct trajectory known as Translunar Injection, TLI. The powerful Saturn V launch vehicle propelled the Apollo spacecraft into Earth orbit, and from there, a single-engine burn sent the spacecraft directly towards the Moon. This approach allowed the Apollo missions to reach their destination relatively quickly, within a few days. In contrast, Chandrayaan-3 follows a different trajectory. The mission uses a series of Earth orbits and engine burns to gradually increase the spacecraft's speed and position it for lunar insertion. This multi-step approach enables the use of a relatively less powerful launch vehicle, the Geosynchronous Satellite Launch Vehicle, GSLV, Mark III, which has lower payload capacity compared to the Saturn versus as a result, a more gradual trajectory was chosen to optimize the mission within the constraints of the launch vehicle. ISRO employs a clever strategy to work around the constraints of the launch vehicle. During its elliptical orbit around the Earth, the Chandrayaan-3 module reaches its highest speed when passing through the perigee, the point closest to Earth. Conversely, the apogee, the furthest point from Earth, corresponds to the module's slowest speed. These variations in speed are due to the Earth's gravitational pull. Each time the module approaches the perigee, the onboard engine fires, further increasing its speed. These successive burns gradually push the module into higher and more elongated orbits. With each burn, the module spirals outwards, gaining momentum and energy. As the module continues its journey, it eventually reaches the escape velocity necessary to break free from Earth's gravity. At this point, the module's orbit elongates, allowing it to set a course towards the Moon. The timing of the Chandrayaan-3 module's entry into the Lunar Transfer Trajectory, LTT, is crucial. It is carefully planned to align with the Moon's position in its own orbit, ensuring proximity to the Moon's trajectory at the desired moment. Once the module reaches the intended point in the LTT, a precise maneuver called lunar orbit insertion is executed using the onboard propulsion system. This maneuver reduces the module's velocity, enabling the Moon's gravitational field to pull it into a stable lunar orbit. This successful lunar insertion marks a significant milestone, placing the spacecraft in orbit around the Moon. Following the lunar insertion, the module revolves around the Moon in an elliptical orbit. A series of maneuvers are then employed to progressively lower the altitude of the module and place it in a circular orbit around 100 kilometers above the lunar surface. At this stage, the propulsion module separates from the lander, which continues its journey towards the lunar south pole. If all goes according to plan, Chandrayaan-3 is set to achieve a groundbreaking feat by becoming the first mission to successfully soft land in the vicinity of the lunar south pole. The scientific objectives of the mission include studying the lunar surface, its mineralogy, and the presence of water ice, a crucial resource for future manned missions. The trajectory chosen by ISRO for Chandrayaan-3 provides insights into the complexities of lunar missions and the considerations behind mission planning. While previous missions, such as Apollo 11, employed direct trajectories, Chandrayaan-3's multi-step approach utilizing Earth orbits and gravity assist allows for the use of a less powerful launch vehicle. Although the extended journey to the Moon may seem longer than past missions, it is a testament to ISRO's ingenuity in optimizing the mission with the available resources. As Chandrayaan-3 embarks on its voyage to the Moon, the world eagerly awaits its groundbreaking accomplishments in lunar exploration and scientific discovery. Hi viewers please support my channel to subscribe, like and share. Thank you all.